What's up guys, Virtually Chris here. Today's video is a review of the Comma 2, which is a device that gives your car level 2 autonomous functionality thanks to Comma AI's OpenPilot software. I've been testing the Comma 2 with OpenPilot installed on every drive for almost a month now, and I'm ready to give my full review of the device, which begins shipping January 20th, 2020. The Comma 2 comes shipped in premium packaging with a labeled box that I would totally have visible in my apartment. Opening up the box, you will see a giant Comma logo representing Comma AI, as well as some foam. Under the top foam, you get your first look at the Comma 2. It's really nice how this device is packaged. The foam holds it very tightly and securely while it's shipping. Looking at the device itself, it has a 5.5 inch screen with a front facing camera that can see in the dark thanks to the infrared LEDs underneath the display. On the back of the device, we have the OBD-C port which communicates with the car and provides constant power. There is a new and improved quiet fan for cooling and a high accuracy GPS antenna positioned in the mount. It comes with no software installed. The user has to install the OpenPilot software separately. This is as simple as selecting custom software from the installation menu and then typing in openpilot.comma.ai. When purchasing the device, make sure you buy it with a car harness for your compatible car, and this will also come in the box. Kama has a great installation guide on their YouTube channel, which shows how to install the whole system in a Honda Civic like mine. It really shouldn't take more than 15 or 20 minutes. The device is powered off the OBD2 port, which is under the dashboard, and it hooks up at the Lane Keep Assist camera, while remaining completely stealthy with the camera cover reinstalled. When mounting, make sure the device is low enough that you can clearly see the entire screen from the driver's seat. My mount is roughly 2 inches lower than the last generation hardware that Kama sold. OpenPilot is fully open source software that upgrades your car's existing lane keep assist and adaptive cruise control systems. It features automatic lane centering, assisted lane change, as well as stop car detection, cut-in detection, and more. OpenPilot supports 63 different models of cars, from brands like Acura, Honda, Toyota, Hyundai, Jeep, Kia, Lexus, Subaru, Chevy, GMC, Volkswagen, and more. So it really does work on a lot of cars, with more being added every update. Engage the system by using your cruise control set button and retain manual control at any time using either the gas or brake or the cruise control cancel button. OpenPilot is consistently having software updates that improve how it drives using the collective driving data from the fleet. So every time anyone has a drive and uploads it back to Kama servers, they're using all that data to improve driving. I use OpenPilot on all my road trips now and it makes the drive so much more relaxing and enjoyable. It's hard to communicate this when you've never had a system like OpenPilot before, but a large portion of driving is menial. Examples of this would be slightly adjusting the steering wheel while cruising down the highway, or moving from the gas to the brake pedal repeatedly in stop and go traffic. These kinds of things are what makes driving so fatiguing, and OpenPilot does all those adjustments for you so you can be more present in your environment and be far less fatigued as well. OpenPilot even performs well in the rain and at night, so anytime you're on a road trip or having a long drive, it's there to help out. Depending on your car's steering command limitations, OpenPilot also does pretty well on side roads. It's a pretty fun experience if your car can support that. I've consistently went over an hour without touching the steering wheel on my long road trips, only resuming manual control for taking an exit or stopping along the way. It really is a life-changing experience. As mentioned in the hardware overview, the Kama 2 has a driver-facing camera. It uses this camera to make sure the driver is paying attention while the system is engaged by tracking their head and eye position, even at night. I really do prefer this approach since it lets me relax my arms and gives me an extra layer of safety knowing that if I did get distracted or somehow fall asleep, the Kama 2 would yell at me and let off the accelerator until I resume control. Concluding thoughts, the Kama 2 is no longer a dev kit in my eyes. It really is consumer hardware with software that is constantly improving. It was built upon a solid foundation of previous Kama hardware which I've talked about extensively on the channel, while fixing every flaw in those previous products. It can stay permanently installed in your car no matter what the temperature outside is, and it's always ready to assist you in driving. I really think the Kama 2 is a no-brainer if you have a car that supports it. 
And for those with older Kama hardware, this is a solid upgrade which improves over the Eon in every way. I will leave some videos I recommend in the video description, as well as during the end card to assist those who are just learning about OpenPilot, as well as a link to the Kama's compatibility checker, which will let you see if your specific car is currently supported or not. If you have Lane Keep Assist, where your car applies steering torque when crossing a lane line, and adaptive cruise control, but are not in the current list of supported cars, the community may be able to help you out. Join the Discord at discord.kama.ai and see for yourself if there's any progress being made towards your make and model of car. With that, I will see you all in the next OpenPilot video. Bye!